Race number six, uh, class four, 1400 metres uh, the trip here. The field is headed by Embarked for Casper Founds and Karis Teton. Gets the wide gate here, barrier number 14 as he gets up to the 1400 metres for the first time. Viva Hunter, a winner already this season, fourth on his last two, also up in trip. Courageous Knights, swell in the markets. So when fifth behind Flying Sword last time out, Fox Hunter's way. Uh, third up for the campaign now. He also gets up in trip. We have Hearty Wish, runner up behind Cheerful Days at a massive price, so nearly 90. To one, only beaten half a length on his last uh, start. Millennium Falcon uh, fourth behind Seasons Bliss, first up for his campaign, um, but gets barrier 11. Click clone, country boy, best for you, and legend goes second up for the season down the field behind Gracie Love, first up for the campaign, Mark. It's a good field this one, but a slow speed being set by cheerful leader with Country Boy joining him. Then lines of three, Placlone, Flying Victory, Viva Hunter, Millennium Falcon, Fox Hunter Way, Strathmore 2, another couple of lines of three. And in Bark Legend goes and Hardy Wish will try and manoeuvre and angle through late like he did at his last start where he made good ground to run into the money. All right, we'll start off here with um, Flying Victory and Courageous uh, Knights. Uh, Courageous uh, Knight, uh, Paul, was actually a shorter price this day, but uh, finished a couple of spots behind it. He did. Look, I, I think I put Courageous Knight in just about it. All, or I have in all his three starts. Uh, this will be his fourth. I think he's getting there. Uh, Joe Marrero will jump aboard as well. So, look, um, he get, definitely goes in for me. The other one, Flying Victory, wasn't a bad run from him. But uh, look, and he's a two-time winner from his 18 starts. I thought he was only fair when he got out, Courageous Knight. Golden Falls run past him down the outside, so that was my concern and happy to leave him out on that. OK, all right. Well, what about um, Viva Hunter? Uh, Mark, one first up. This is him fourth last time out. Strathmore 2 and Legend goes further back. He is one that I have got in because he was a winner over Voyage Star. Then he's run fourth behind Infinite Power, who's won again since, and a fourth behind Gracie Love. His racing style, Paul, tends to suggest that the 1400 won't be an issue and uh, I didn't think he'd be too far from them at all here. Yeah, no, he definitely uh, goes in, in for me as well. I'd like to see him up to 16.50 on the dirt, actually. I think that would probably suit the horse. But 14 looks a good uh, stepping stone. He should get a nice uh, tr uh, run from Barrier 5 as well. So, yeah, he's definitely in for me. Are you telling Manfred how to train them now? No, no, I'm just uh, <laughs> suggesting it'll be a good race for him. Hearty Wish is the next one we can have a look at, uh, Paul. He was, what price, 86 to 1 here behind uh, Cheerful Days. Country Boy, the other one to take note of. Yeah, he's come up early favourite too, Hardy. Wish did catch the eye, uh, hitting the line uh, strongly enough here. Didn't quite go in for me, but uh, it wasn't a bad run. I put him in simply because he's run in the money behind Cheerful Days, who's won since. Romantic Combo's won since. Infinite Power has won since. So the format of this race is strong. His finish was good. Um, he was first up, so he should strip fitter for the run. On that, he had to go in. Yeah, sometimes when that's, that sort of price is sort of, you know, can they back it up? But I think he probably can as well. It didn't look like a fluke to me. Uh, Millennium Falcon, the last one we have a look at. Mark, you're quite keen on this one. I am indeed, uh, Andrew. He goes to the 1,400 metres. Zach jumps on board, only having his second start for Ben O'Young. And uh, he was second behind Lucky with you last time in. That's whiz kid. Good news runs in the race prior. If he goes well, it's only going to enhance his chances more. Infinity win didn't win on Wednesday night, but was backed off the map. Seasons Bliss will win more races. And I just love the way the further they went, Paul, the better he looked. Yeah, look, he hit the line really nicely. And obviously, was Zach uh, jumping board. He's just drawn awkwardly in barrier 11. I just don't know. He will, he'll want pace on. That's the key for him. All right. Well, Hardy Wish is actually favourite at this stage, Paul, at 3.6. Yeah, um, I'm going to go stick with uh, Courageous Knight, though. I think his uh, runs have been OK. I mean, the last one, uh, he had, had the line all right once he got out behind Flying Sword. He can get himself into a nice position for Barry Seven. Now, Viva Hunter, Manfred's probably already got the 16.50 on his radar. I don't need to tell him that, but he's in there for second. I think the 1,400 metres is perfect for him at this stage. Swiss Spirit is a horse I've been putting in a bit, and he keeps improving this horse. I thought the all-weather run was good last time. From Barrier 2, he'll get a nice run. And uh, Millennium Falcon in for fourth. Four, three, nine, and 10. All over Millennium Falcon up to the 1,400 metres. He'll get back, he'll give them a start, but he does have a really good turn of foot. Placlone races really well course and distance. He's had seven starts for a win, three placings and a fourth. Second up, he's a win and a placing next to his name as well. Hardy Wish goes in for third and Viva Hunter. The 1,400 doesn't suit the 1,650 on the dirt, you would say. <laughs> 10, 11, 8 and 3. Four and nine, uh, the cue for me here. Courageous Knights uh, goes on top. That's race number six, class four, over the 1400.